We're going to talk about it. Mostly been talking about a lot of the Nikki and Meg back and forth. But we're going to talk about it. Because apparently on the Joe Budden podcast, not this recent episode. I believe it was the last recent episode. You know what I'm saying? That um, <clears throat> when they were just reacting to his. Um, Joe Budden thinks Meg Thee Stallion dissed him on the song his. Which, that's crazy. My nigga, Joe put himself in the beef, bro. It's crazy. Now that he put himself in the beef, but he kind of like, oh, she talking about us. That's crazy. But anywho, let's talk about this shit real quick. I ain't gonna waste too much of your time. But anyways, Joseph Anthony Button, I believe that's actually his full name, but <laughs> thinks that Megan Thee Stallion dissed them on the new song his. Um, so on Saturday it says Sunday here, but the audio gets posted on Saturday on the DSPs, and you get the video on Sunday on YouTube. But anyways, uh, Joe Button posted his latest episode of the Joe Button podcast. Um. Uh, ep- on episode 694 titled Get Out the Dog Park Joe and his co-hosts offered their thoughts on Megan Thee Stallion's new song His which dropped on Friday June 26 at the 15 minute mark of the video Joe shared that he thinks the Houston Rhymer dissed him on her track <clears throat> hold on I think this is the quote I've been uh, scraping my head all morning trying to figure out who been dancing to R. Kelly recently, the veteran podcaster pondered. Then it hit me like a bag of bricks. Well, my girl told me. Well, my girl told me that was us. Don't quote me, but I think she was dissing us, Joe said. The line Joe is referring to is referring to is when Meg raps, all you uh, bitches is weak on the Bible. Week on the Bible, talking shit from where no one can find you. I can never be judged by a bitch that was dancing, making R. Kelly go viral. Joe Budden may be correct in his assumption that Meg was referring to him in her song. However, the Houston Rhymer did not limit her acidic bars to Budden alone. She also addressed everyone who had betrayed her in the past. Joe did not betray her, but besides that. However, the chatter on social media is the Megan's not lyric of the song. Yes, of course. We know that's talking about Meg. I've done the Meg. Sorry. We know that's talking about Nikki. I've done the Nikki Meg. Sh- you know what I'm saying? We ain't got time for that. Yeah, yeah. She's talking about Nikki. Yeah, yeah. All right. Do y'all think that's talking about George? Joe just put himself in a little beef. But that's not all we're going to talk about as well. Because, yeah, I didn't have that time because they started going on to Nikki. And I'm like, I already did the Nikki video. I ain't got time for that. We're also going to talk about this other article we also got in here. So, Joe Budden calls the Megan Thee Stallion's um, mother's grave doxing and that's DPR son. I can see through the publicist stories like Glass Budden claims. So, I'm going to read this shit before I say something. So, uh, Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj food has only continued to heat up in recent days. Robbed and Joe Budden to wait in. Earlier this week, it was reported that some Nicki fans leaked the location of Megan's mother's grave. You know what I do, they urge fellow supporters, resulting in the tremendous amount of backlash online. Fans on both sides of the beef can agree that the tweet went too far. According to the cemetery where Meg's mother is laid to rest, they have ramped up security amid the fallout. But then on the other hand, claims that there may not be any real cause for concern. <clears throat> he theorizes that the reports have been pushed by a Meg publicist somewhere. Could be, could be true. Simply for attention. I think it's a real nasty PR trick, but in describes. I think that this is real nasty. He continued revealing that his line of work has taught him quite a bit about the lengths people are willing to go to for publicity. I can see through the publicist stories like Glassy ads, but it also notes that his theory is why he was unbothered by Nikki's Bigfoot line about Megan the Stallion's dead mother. Budden certainly appears to be siding with Nikki on this one, which could be thanks to another one of his theories following the release of his. Budden speculated that Meg dissed him on the song. Okay, yeah, I basically read this. Um, dissed him on the song, though fans have their doubts. Like, I'm going to give Meg a little bit more because she dissed us on that shit, he explained. Yeah, I, I, I read the R. Kelly thing already. Yeah. What do you think of the barbs docking Nikki's mom graves? And like I said in a prior video, bro, listen, could it be some PR shit? Yes. Could Megan's people be uh be posting like Nikki and her disgusting fans are defiling her mother's final resting place? 100%. Listen, like I said, the only thing I 100% believe 
was when Meg was like Tori's peoples are trying to spin the story. And when Tori was like Meg's peoples trying to spin the story, of course they were for you. They your publicists. They're gonna make their client look the best. That was the thing I was like, yeah, of course they're gonna do it. Now in Tori's case, Meg's publicists just made her look better. But with that being said, you know what I'm saying? Um again, I don't feel like Nicki Minaj would tell her fan base or um, not even tell her, encourage her fan base to go do that to somebody's final resting place. But, hey, at times, does it seem like Nikki is bullying? I'm not saying she is 100% bullying Meg, but it does seem a little bit like, all right, yo, you either chill out. You ain't got to do this. You're doing a little bit too much. You know what I'm saying? She always says, you know, she had a child. Don't play with me. Y'all can relax. And now she's like, I could choose how I want to respond, which is fair. She can, but... It is what it is. And let's not act like the barbs be going crazy for Nikki, bro. Nikki is sometimes don't even say shit. The barbs go crazy. If you beef with Nikki, bro, you beefing with the barbs. That's it is what it is. If you don't have a fan base, boy, they're going to eat your ass up like you some spaghetti. They're going, what? But yeah, that's my thing with that situation. And like I said in a private video, imagine being the police or the security getting calls like, hey, we need you to go line up. There's some motherfuckers running around in some Bobby, some Bobby wings, and some Barbie wigs, and some pink Range Rovers trying to go to file person. You will be like, nigga, what the fuck? Nigga, is Bobby coming in real life? Nigga, what the fuck is this? You would be fucking confused. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, like, hey. I'm not saying Nikki hasn't playing any parts in that. And if people are actually going to go to file somebody's grave, that's disgusting. And hey, if you get your if you get your wig split, if you get your head knocked off, motherfuckers head tapping, hey, you do what you did. Don't play with people. Rest in place. Don't play with people. There, your ass will get hit up. With that being said, <clears throat> um, again, I'm not saying Nikki Nikki wants her fans to do this. But if she is encouraging it, it does look away. If she is, I don't know 100%. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, we'll see what happens. But that's crazy. That's honestly crazy. Like, it has gotten this far. That people are potentially defiling a person rest in place. I, listen, I get Nick in her point. She could choose to respond how she want. And in the party song, party said you lied on your dead moms because you said you wasn't dealing with Tori when you was dealing with Tori. But... Okay, you know what I'm saying? Leave that shit be. You know what I'm saying? Leave that shit be like, yeah. And see, that's the only... Now, if Meg is a sportsman of this rap shit, she should respond. If she's not just a pretty shorty, just, just doing her little raps, she should respond. If she's if she not a sportsman, honestly, at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? You alluded to shorty, shorty replied. It might have not been the best of this track, but she replied... You want to reply? Because she was doing a little too much. I ain't going to lie. Like I did say, I do feel like there will be subliminals on her project. But yeah, man, that's crazy. Like, just, bruh. I'm, in the whole Desiree thing and our Rock Nation be back and Megan and shit. And yeah, they're trying to make her look good. I would not be surprised if, you know, they put it out like that to make Meg look good and gain sympathy. You know what I'm saying? From, you know, the fans and shit. But it's going way too far. Like, y'all niggas got to chill out, bro. At the end of the day. But, yeah, we'll see what comes from this, bro. We'll see what comes from this. What do you feel? Put your comments down below. Check out the links in the description. I have some other vids for y'all to check out. Besides all that, you already know what it is. It's your friendly neighborhood, K.A. Signing out for today. The Black TJ that while I doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. He last guy. You trying to hear a little bit more to hear me. I'm gone. Slime, zoom, peace, shout out, gang. I. Right. <laughs>